Hello everyone and welcome to this Unreal Engine beginner tutorial that will show you how to simply and easily import sprite animations into your 2D side scroller game or any other 2D game that you might be developing. First of all, we're inside of a regular template side scrolling template as you can see. This is probably familiar to anyone who has even tried Unreal Engine. But at the same time, you already know this famous character, which is the Unreal Engine robot. And it's a preset animation that is currently running in idle. And if I would start the game or demo level, you would see the same character running and doing anything else that is a preset animation. But let's say that you want to change this with your own 2D sprite animations, whatever that might be, and you want to simply change it, do nothing else, keep the controls, keep everything else in place, but change those 3D sprites, more precisely 2D sprites. The same process is exceedingly simple and I'm going to demonstrate it to you right now. First of all, you need to put those 2D sprites into your project. I already did that and here is the folder that's called skeleton and I'm going to import a skeleton 2D pixel art animation for both idle and running, more precisely idle and walking. I found it on itch.io, I left the link to the same pack in the description below, so check out the author and support the same creator. But now I'm going to demonstrate how I'm going to place these two in the project and then use them instead of the preset from the starter content that is currently running. First that I need to do, the first thing I need to do here is to actually change these into a setup that can be read by Unreal Engine. To do that, I need to select them and go to Sprite Actions and choose this, Apply Paper 2D Texture Settings. And now they are ready to be used, but they also need to be laid out in a sequence. That is, right now all of the animation singular images are in a single file. I need to spread them out into the sequence. To do that, again, I go to right click, Sprite Action, and I go to Extract Sprites. You can see all of them here, and here is the Extract Mode, it's on Auto. You have your different option of Auto and Grids, leave it on Auto, and go for Extract. And right now I got all of the images that are inside of this file, as a singular individual images that make up for the animation. Now with all of them selected, I will create a file, a third file that I can use to actually change the present animation in the character itself. Now with all of them selected, I simply right click on the first one and go to create flipbook. This is the actual file that Unreal will use to change the present animation on the character. I'm going to call it skeleton walk and that's already the old name so I'm going to call it skeleton run in that case. That's my first animation as you can see it already shows a preview and I'm going to do the same for this for the idle option. Again I need to go to sprite action and extract sprites. I'm leaving everything as is, auto, go for the extract. And from here on, I'm going to create another playbook now for idle. Again, right click on the first image with the selection of all of the images and create flipbook. And I'm going to call it skeleton, but I'm going to add anim because I don't want to have the same name as the source file, which Unreal Engine rec recognizes as texture. With these two, I can now go into the blueprints and begin changing them with the character itself. To do that, I need to go back to my root content, go to blueprints and choose this to this color character, open it up with a double click. 
And now in graph events, I have a bunch of stuff, but what I'm looking for is this handle animation. And this part right here, this is the whole handle animation and the process of animation. But what I'm looking to change is this part right here. As you can see, you have your idle animation and your running animation for false and true. Now we don't need to change anything in the layout, how the nodes are connected or anything. I just need to change the source files here. Instead of idle animations, I will go to skeleton idle anim. And instead of running animation, I will go to skeleton run. I'm going to compile and save. But another element here that is necessary is in the viewport itself, where I need to change this sprite with the idle animation of my skeleton, which is the new idle animation. So again, that skeleton idle anim. Um, here I got it, but as you can see, the capsule is a lot bigger than the animation itself. So I'm going to expand it or enlarge it through these scale. So I'm going to change the scale, but instead of changing it individually, which would stretch the whole animation, the whole sprite or flipbooks, sprite flipbook, I'm going to lock them so they all change at the same time. So let's try with, for example, five. And it's pretty good, but still the capsule is too big. As you can see, the weapon, the halberd, I'm guessing it's called halberd, is a lot bigger. I never knew how to pronounce that word. And so I'm going to go with seven so that it stretches out of the capsule somewhat. And I'm going to save it on that size. First compile, then save. I'm going to close it. And here it is, here is my character. It's already in the game. And we can see how does it look and work in the game itself by going to play, selecting the window, and here we are. As you can see, it's functioning in the same manner as the original animation, but now with the new sprite, which is looking pretty cool. The cool thing is also that you can test out both animations. So idle is here. As you can see, the weapon is only slightly moving while the blade, X blade, remains in place, but when I go with walk, the weapon is actually on idle itself. It's moving a lot more. So both animations are active, both are valid and both are working. An interesting point here is also that when you go for jump, there is no individual animation for jump. So the character keeps in the walking animation setup. That's why his tiny little skeletal legs keep on moving. So next I would need to add jump animations and everything else, which would function basically in the same manner. For now, we only have idle and walk, but as you can see through the process, which is taking in the animation as a sprite file, breaking it down, creating a flipbook out of it and changing it in the blueprint, you can easily change your character into any animation you'd like from the initial template. The whole process is super simple, super fast. You saw it, it doesn't include any changes in the blueprint itself, except those flips or changes of the source files. And you can easily add your own animations in the same manner in your project as well. So that's all for this beginner tutorial. You saw it, it's really simple, it's really straightforward. It's really easy to do and replicate. Hopefully you found it useful. How Hopefully you found it something that you can apply immediately to your project. And thank you so much for watching. If you're a beginner in Unreal Engine like I am, please check out all of my other videos. Also, if you really found this video useful, consider buying me a drink through coffee. The link is in the description below. Any donation would be more than welcome. And I'm super thankful for all of them. Of course, don't forget to like, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the description below or the comment box. And lastly, if you plan on watching my other Unreal Engine tutorials and my other videos, consider subscribing. It would mean a lot to me. That's all for me. My name is Ivica. Thank you again for watching and have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine projects. Until my next video, bye bye.